we are talking 2023 snow checks. Polaris has officially announced that their 2023s drop February 28th, which is in exactly a week from today. We don't have any surefire information on what they're gonna be releasing, but they have dropped a few teasers and there are some rumors out there. So we're gonna cover all that in today's video. Now the first big rumor for 2023 snow check and honestly, 2023 sleds across the board, every manufacturer is an MSRP hike. Now I have heard some ridiculous things. They're gonna hike the price on the MSRP from 15 to 18 to even 20%. Now these are all rumors, all speculations, but because of the supply chain and just the price of things nowadays, people are talking that the MSRP on these sleds is going to be jacked way up from what it is. So it's going to take like a 17 grand sled to a 20 grand sled base price, which is a little ridiculous. I can't really see that Polaris or any manufacturer could justify a 15 to 20% price increase. Like we've seen, the skidoos have been released already. And if you look at their MSRP, it's not really much different from last year. So I don't think skidoo really hide the MSRP on their sleds. So I would assume that Polaris would follow and do the same. Next thing here, and Polaris post this on their Instagram, which is really weird, is they posted a thing about snow check and it said up to a three year warranty. Now usually snow check sleds are a four year warranty. So that makes me question and wonder, is Polaris dropping the warranty from four year to three year? because I've always been four years as long as I've been keeping up with snow check players has always done a four-year warranty but they themselves posted on Instagram unless it was a typo and they are offering up to a three-year warranty instead of a four now we'll see when the snow checks officially get released if we are still gonna have our four-year warranty or if they're dropping it down to three next up I have heard this from multiple multiple people even my own dealership is players is gonna be limiting the amount of sleds a dealer gets now I don't know if they're gonna limit the total amount of snow checks they get or if they're gonna limit it by like chaos matrix slash pro arm k xcr indy this that i don't know if they're going to limit it by model category or if they're just going to limit the overall amount of sleds each dealer can have common number i've been reading in my research is each dealership is going to be allocated 35 sleds now i don't know if that's true and i don't know how that works because there's probably some smaller dealers that don't even get 35 snow checks but there's also some probably larger dealers out there that get maybe 100 or 200 snow checks so it's gonna be kind of hard to see how they're gonna break that up i don't know if they're gonna do a percentage like okay you guys had 100 snow checks so you can only do 25 percent of that this year which means you can only take 25 i don't know how they're gonna work that out but i have heard from multiple people that they are going to be limiting snow checks and honestly it would make sense being what happened this year with the 2022s where there are still like 3,000 sleds i think that aren't built and shipped yet wouldn't be surprised if they limit sleds to each dealer i just don't know how they're going to end up playing that out now let's talk about the teaser players put out on their facebook instagram and just about every other social media platform they have So that teaser is obviously a new motor or an existing motor with some different tuning or maybe a big bore or a different kit. Really hard to tell because the video is so dark, really not able to see much. But from the sounds of it, it sounds pretty aggressive and it doesn't sound like anything that exists right now. It doesn't sound like the 650, it doesn't sound like the 850, it doesn't sound like the 800. So it's really hard to tell what that is. But my guess is going to be it would either be a new motor or a revised 850 Patriot. Now I've been hearing some ridiculous things like everyone thinks Polaris is bringing back the triple. I don't know what your guys' obsession is with the triple. For some reason, everyone just wants Polaris to bring back the triple. And I just... I don't see that happening. I mean, it'd be really cool because I do like the triples. They sound good and it's just a triple. Who doesn't like a triple? But I just can't see players going back to such old outdated technology and trying to modernize it for the 23 lineup. I'm actually gonna throw a picture on the screen of the colors corrected so you can see a little more of the motor. There's no triple pipes on there and it doesn't look like there's a triple head. So I don't, it's just not gonna happen. They're not bringing back the triple, guys. I'm sorry. Other speculations, which I'm kind of on board with, and this is probably one of my ideas of what this is, is they are gonna be doing a Patriot 900. Now, as you guys know, all these big mountain riders like Chris Brandt and all those guys, they've been pushing the 900 bore kits for the 850s and the 800s. They've always been running these 900 kits. And I, for some reason, have a feeling if this is gonna be a new motor, it's gonna be a 900cc Patriot. Don't ask me why, that's just kind of my gut feeling if it is a new motor. But I don't know why they put out a new motor when one, they can't even produce the motors they have right now, the 850s. They can't even like get the 850s out to their snow check customers that are still 
still waiting. And they still don't have the 850 down pat. There's still a lot of bugs to be worked out and some kinks. And obviously there are a lot of people out there having issues with them. So I don't really understand why they would put out a new motor when the 850's only been out for a few years now. And they also don't have all the kinks worked out of it. Another option for this, but if you zoom in on those pictures, it's really, you don't see a turbo, is I was thinking maybe a 650 boost or maybe some sort of 850 or 650 Flatlander turbo where the sled is more geared towards Flatlander Midwest riders like myself, where we could actually reap the benefits of the turbo for low elevation. Now, I think that would be even better than getting a 900cc Patriot, but I don't see a turbo in that picture, so I really hard to tell. I don't think they're going to do that because they already have the 850 Patriot boost. And I just don't see that happening, but I think over a 900, I would rather have that. Now, there's been talks of electric sleds throughout the entire snowmobile community, every manufacturer. There's even snowmobile manufacturers that purely make electric sleds. If you guys know anything about Polaris' lineup, they don't just do snowmobiles, they do a bunch of other stuff and they actually have an all electric Ranger, which is their UTV. So Polaris does dabble in the electric world of off-road vehicles. Now, do I think they're gonna drop in electric snowmobile? No, 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 it's just absolutely no. I don't see it coming this year. I don't see it coming in the next couple years. The manufacturer that makes those electric snowmobiles, I can't think of the name, it's like TIA something, something like that. They are only taking pre-orders. Their sleds aren't even production. Like there's not like customers like me or you that have a electric snowmobile in their hands because they're only for pre-order right now. So for players to put out an electric sled when they can't even produce their internal combustion 850s and 650s and 600s right now, I don't really see that happening. So I think the whole electric sled thing is out for this year and honestly out for the next few years. I wanna talk about what I think we will see and this is just my personal predictions. Obviously, I don't know any better than you do. I am going off of what I think we should see and some things that I personally want to see in players of snow check. Now, one thing I know that we will see is I just have a feeling we are going to see less colors than usual. I think like 2018, 2019 players had a bunch of colors. I mean, you could just pick whatever color you wanted, scheme your sled up however, and it was really hard to have the same sled as someone else on the trailer in the mountain. And as the years have progressed and this whole supply chain issue, the color schemes to me have gotten honestly really limited. It went from having like eight to 10 choices for a sled down to like three or four. So I honestly think this year there will be even less colors just due to the supply chain and them wanting to get sleds out on time. I don't see them adding colors. I think they're gonna stick with what we had last year, the three to four colors per sled, honestly, if not less. So I think their customization is gonna go down this year just because of the way the world is with supply chain and whatnot. What I'd like to see is them come out with a better entry level sled. So I know they have the Indy Evo series, which they have like the trail sled and they also have like the Evo, RMK, whatever. But Skidoo's lineup, they have the Summit Neo and the um, MXZ Neo. So those are their new entry level sleds and it is on the Gen 4 chassis. It looks really nice. It's a very capable sled. And personally, if I was gonna buy an entry level sled for like my girlfriend say, I would right now choose the Summit over the Indy Evo. It's just a better looking sled, it's a good price point, and it's a new chassis. To me, the Evo series chassis is very, very outdated. Um, it's, it's the pro chassis, you know, it's old. We had the Axis and now we have the Matrix. I'd at least like to see them bring the Evo series into the Axis chassis and just make it look a little more grown up. Look at the Neo series and it looks like all the Gen 4 big sleds. It, it, fits in, it blends in. It really, if you don't know what it is, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Whereas you look at the Indie Evo series and they just sit low and they're small, it kind of looks like a toy, it looks like a kid's sled, not to mention the older chassis. So I'd really like to see them step their game up in the entry level sleds, keep the price point about the same, but throw it on the Axis chassis, make it look a little bigger, make it look more like the big expensive sleds. And I think those would sell a lot better than the Evo series does. Another thing I'd like to see is Polaris needs, needs, needs to come out with something like Shot. Now Brandon's free ride has the Shot system on it and it is honestly the best thing in the world. You pull it over once in the morning and you press the button the rest of the day and it doesn't really add much weight. It's amazing and I think Polaris is long overdue to do something like that because I know Skidoo's headed out for quite some time now and Polaris just, they're lacking. They have that other, mm, old school electric start system that I'm not a big fan of, too much weight, and I just don't like it. So I'd really like to see players do something with shot, like something similar to it. I know they're not gonna call it shot, 
but they need to do something similar to it just to keep up with Skidoo in that sense because it's a very useful feature, especially if you're in the back country and you're stuck and you're digging out and you're starting your sled, trying to get it out, shutting it off, starting your sled. Like, it's awesome and I would definitely love to see players come out with something and I'm hoping this is the year. I thought last year might be the year, but no, they didn't. So hopefully in 23, they will finally do something like that. I don't see players giving us any new sleds this year. If anything, I think they're gonna look at what's not selling and slim down the herd just so there's less options. So possibly getting the sleds out on time on like this year. That is all I got for you guys right now on 23 snow checks. As the week goes on, we're only a week out. I'm sure we will get more information on them. And as soon as we get more information, it will be posted right here on this channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Got to remember too, this is all rumors, all speculations. I'm going off of my own research and how I think Polaris is going to handle it this year. I could be completely right. I could be completely wrong. We don't know until the 28th. If you guys like today's video smash a huge thumbs up on today's video and in the comments below i want to hear your thoughts what do you think players is doing for the 23 lineup are we getting a triple which i highly doubt but are we getting a triple are we getting a tuned up 850 are we getting a 900 are we getting a flatlander boost what are we getting? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see from players for the 23s. Like I said before, I will be updating everything 2022 and 2023 snow check on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. And with all that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. My emotions, that's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been